Hello and welcome to the Humbrol YouTube channel. In this video we'd like to introduce the newest addition to our range of painting and weathering products, the brand new Humbrol enamel washes. These should be hitting the shops around the time this video is uploaded and each wash comes in a 28ml glass bottle containing a pre-diluted, strongly pigmented enamel wash which has a variety of modelling uses. A wide range of colours is available to suit all sorts of modelling eventualities, starting with the ubiquitous black wash which is great for highlighting panel lines on model aircraft. For something a little softer than black, the blue grey and dark grey shades are ideal for highlighting the panel lines on model ships and axis armour and aircraft. For olive drab fans, the dark green wash is the perfect way to add some detail and depth and for you Axis fans and also for a splash of weathering, the dark brown shade is ideal. No range of washes would be complete without the rust wash which is ideal for all sorts of weathering purposes. The gloss oil stain wash is designed to represent spilt oil and dries to a gloss finish. For weathering a dusty dry finish, the sand wash is a very warm and gentle brown for desert setting vehicles whereas the dust wash is much paler and even though it's liquid it dries to the appearance of a fine layer of dust. And finally the white wash is perfect for lightening any of the other colours in the range or producing a winter camouflage scheme. To show you our new range of washes in action we're going to perform a simple panel line wash on this Airfix Sabre. In preparation for the washes, we've coated the model in Humbrol Clear, which is an acrylic gloss varnish and should help the washes to flow into all the recessed details. This is a tried and tested technique that's been around for a long time and the colour of the panel line wash is a source of great debate amongst aircraft modellers in particular. For the purposes of our video, we're going to use the black wash simply because it offers the best contrast on camera. The application of the washes is simple, it's taken straight from the bottle and loaded into the bristles of a Humbrol detail brush which is then tapped onto the surface allowing the wash to flow into the panel lines. Let's take a look up close at exactly how the wash moves. By treating the model with a layer of Humbrol clear first the flow is enhanced meaning that the smallest touch of the brush will transfer the wash from the bristles into the panel line and it will flow around on its own doing the work for us. Because the markings on this sabre were applied with Humbrol decal fix, they've snugged down nicely into the panel lines meaning that the wash will flow over them just the same as it does over the normal paint. When the washes have dried it's then simply a case of neatening everything up by using either a cotton bud or a paper towel which has been moistened with Humbrol enamel thinners to wipe away any of the excess wash which isn't in the recessed areas. And here you can see the end result. The application of the panel line wash has helped to break up the surface area and add a ton of visual interest to the model's finish. Next up we're going to enhance the raised surface details on this Airfix Cromwell using the dark green shade of Humbrol enamel wash. When a model is all a single colour, the application of a wash can really help bring out details that previously you wouldn't have seen. As with the Airfix Sabre, we're going to give the Cromwell a coat of Humbrol clear before applying the washes to help everything flow. With the bristles of a Humbrol detail brush loaded with the dark green wash, it is then tapped onto the surface of the model and the wash will flow around both the recessed and the raised details on the model surface giving the impression of shadows in those areas which helps the details stand out. By selecting a shade of wash which is complementary to the base colour of the model, the effect achieved is somewhat softer than if we'd used the black wash as we did on the Sabre. When the washes have dried, it's time to clean the excess from the surface of the model using a cotton bud which has been moistened with Humbrol enamel thinners. For areas where you want a little bit more control, why not moisten the bristles of a Humbrol detail brush with enamel thinners and then get right up close to work with the washes. A few passes of the brush's bristles will bring the wash back to life giving you complete control over the application. Here you can see how the edges of these raised areas are being cleaned up leaving behind a very fine line of the darker wash which works as a shadow on that raised detail. 
After a few minutes work cleaning the excess wash from the surface of the model, this is the finished result. As you can see where there was previously just a single colour of olive drab, all of the details now really jump out and make the model look much more interesting. The results are very much worthwhile for such a simple process. As well as enhancing your aircraft and armour models, the Humbrol enamel washes are also a great product for weathering. We're going to be showing you some work on this Hornby engine shed, starting with repainting the brickwork and then in later videos giving the whole model a makeover. To begin with, the brickwork is painted in a variety of shades of Humbrol acrylic. To add to the depth of the finish on the brickwork, different amounts of the four acrylic shades are added whilst the paint is still wet to give the colour some variation and prevent it from being too monotonous. Once again, to keep the washes flowing nicely, we're going to use a coat of Humbrol Clear. This is being brush applied using both horizontal and vertical strokes so that it gets in between all of the gaps on that brick pattern. The mortar is going to be represented with four different shades of enamel wash, dust, sand, dark brown and black, which is going to be flowed onto the model surface using the Humbrol detail brushes. Starting with the dust coloured enamel wash, the bristles are touched onto the surface of the model and the wash will flow outwards giving the impression of mortar between the bricks. While the dust colour is still wet, dark brown is applied in various areas and the two washes are allowed to mix together. This varies the tone of the mortar and gives the brickwork a weathered appearance. Lower down on the wall some of the black or even the dark green can be added to give the appearance of rising damp. With all the different colours blended together and allowed to dry, enamel thinners and a cotton bud can be used to clean the excess wash off the surface of the bricks. By gently rubbing the cotton bud over the top of the model, only the faces of the bricks are cleaned, leaving the mortar colours behind. Because the model was given a coat of Humbrol Clear earlier on, the brickwork may be a little glossy, so we're going to finish off this wall with a spray of Humbrol Acrylic Matte Varnish. With a few simple applications of paint followed by washes, that nice clean factory finish is gone and has been replaced with a very dark and moody, industrial looking brickwork pattern that looks both aged and weathered. Now that we've covered the basic uses for Humbrol enamel washes, why not grab a few colours and give them a try on your next project. In the next video we're going to be covering some much more intense weathering effects using the washes by taking the engine shed back in time and replacing the modern cladding finish with a weather beaten cement particle board roof and some heavy rusting on the walls. We've also got a bunch of other models and effects lined up so be sure to check back to the channel often. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again next time.